Hello friends, welcome to GeoEdu, exploring geological knowledge. In this video, we will discuss about stellar evolution. So, uh, in the previous video, we have discussed about the age of the universe and it was 13.69 billion years. So, here we will see the aftermath of Big Bang explosion. So, after Big Bang explosion, the clouds of hydrogen and helium scattered into the space. As we know, every matter have one force of attraction that is gravitational force on another matter. So, in suppose in the universe, there uh, this in the in that scattered mass, there will be small there will be smaller masses as well smaller clouds as well as, as well as massive clouds. There um, uh, suppose uh, imagine there was an there was an uh, massive cloud. Uh, and uh, the because of the massiveness it uh, it attracted the surrounding masses the surrounding masses got attracted to that large mass and uh, the uh, the beginning of the star um, tends to take place so in the beginning what happened in the beginning the um, uh, the surrounding gases uh, comes uh, with a very high speed towards the large mass and uh, the uh, um, towards the uh, large mass as well as uh, it it uh, comes in a uh, spinning or wheeling manner and in initial phase uh, the uh, that uh, uh, that bec uh, that becomes a disk shaped but a disk is a not a stable shape in the universe uh, so um, the central part of the disk got collapsed and uh, forms a dense ball so that that was the beginning of a protostar so uh, when the protostar begins that uh, protostar not only consists of hydrogen and helium but also it consists of small amounts of lithium beryllium and boron so um, means this is the sequence first means when it was in scattered manner the condensation temperature was minus 173 degree centigrade so this 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 was very low temperature and after that gravitational contraction uh, occur because of this gravitational contraction the temperature increased up to 10 to the power 7 degree centigrade this is a huge temperature and this temperature um, this temperature um, acts as a means because of this temperature it uh, the nuclear fusion reaction takes place in that star what is nuclear fusion uh, we already means in school uh, school we studied about nuclear fusion means uh, be before nuclear fusion i will tell uh, the sequence again uh, the temperature uh, the first initial temperature was minus 173 degree centigrade after that uh, the uh, surrounding mass got attracted to, to a massive mass because of this gravitational contraction the temperature increased up to 10 to the minus 7 uh, 10 to the 7 degree centigrade the protostar originate other elements like uh, lithium beryllium also tends to occur in that protostar and nuclear fusion um, because takes place because of nuclear fusion light got emitted from the stars so what is nuclear fusion fusion is the small means when smaller atoms collide or stick together to form a larger atom so here so here hydrogen atoms uh, combined to form helium atom so where we uh, where where the usefulness of fusion reaction in sun or in other different stars nuclear fusion is the only reaction that gives power to these stars and the hydrogen in the principle the principle of hydrogen bomb the principle only principle is nuclear fusion but in atom bomb the nuclear fission is the uh, principle so uh, here you can see uh, the two isotopes like deuterium and tritium uh, combines to form a helium atom this is fusion reaction and uh, in that uh, protostar where which is the place where means the uh, fuse reaction took place first is, is it the core or is it the surface it is the core actually core is the first place initial place where the nuclear fusion starts uh, uh, initially uh, 
बिकॉज ऑफ न्यूक्लियर फ्यूजन लाइट गॉट एमिटेड लाइट और यू कैन से इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक एनर्जी गॉट एमिटेड बेस्ड ऑन दिस लाइट एमिटिंग कैपेसिटी वी कैन डिवाइड दिस स्टार्स इन टू थ्री कैटेगरीज लाइक लो एनर्जी एमिटिंग स्टार दैट एपियर्स रेड मीडियम एनर्जी एमिटिंग स्टार्स दैट एपियर्स व्हाइट एंड हाई एनर्जी एमिटिंग स्टार दैट एपियर्स ब्लू सो फ्रॉम दिस मीन्स लाइट और इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक एनर्जी वी कैन इनफर भेरी मीन्स मच इनफर्मेशन अबाउट वन स्टार दैट इज केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ दैट स्टार सरफेस टेम्परेचर ऑफ दैट स्टार कलर ऑफ दैट स्टार लुमिनोसीटी ऑफ दैट स्टार लुमिनोसीटी मीन्स मीन्स दैट मच लाइट इट हैव एमिटेड टू दि स्पेस सो आफ्टर दैट दिस प्रपर्टी दैट इज वेन वी प्लटेड दि लुमिनोसीटी लुमिनोसीटी भर्सेस दि लुमिनोसीटी भर्सेस दि कलर दैट इज एन मीन्स कलर वी कैन से इट एनर्जी और टेम्परेचर वी गट ए डायग्राम दैट इज हर्सप्रुंग रसेल डायग्राम एच आर डायग्राम and uh, the stars uh, means the stars in a young galaxy uh, they tends to plot, they, they tends to uh, represent by points within a band known as main sequence uh, we all heard about main sequence stars so this is the main sequence means this is hr uh, diagram and the luminosity plotted against the color that is uh, here this is blue means high energy and this is red this is low energy and uh, this is this uh, main sequence uh, the stars formed in this part is known as main sequence stars and uh, another sub sequence uh, come here that is red giants i'll discuss uh, it later and uh, it also depends on upon mass uh, here it is plotted dip, uh, plotted against mass so um, in main sequence uh, main sequence stars uh, generally uh, falls within the mass of 0.2 पॉइंट टू सोलार मास टू सिक्सटी सोलार मास व्हाट इज सोलार मास सोलार मास इज दि सपोज आई एम से जीरो पॉइंट टू सोलार मास मीन्स इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू टाइम्स अफ मास अफ सन एंड इट इज सपोज आई एम से सिक्सटी सोलार मास मीन्स इट इज सिक्सटी टाइम्स मीन्स सिक्सटी टाइम्स लार्जर दैन दि मास अफ दि सन सो इन मेन सिक्वेन्स वी कैन सी दिस मच अफ भेरिएसन इन दि मेन सिक्वेन्स एंड सन इज हियर Uh, means uh, uh, sun is here in the middle of the main sequence so what is red giant red giant is a luminous uh, is a luminous giant star of low or intermediate mass means it may um, uh, the, its mass is 0.3 to 8 solar mass means it can be 0.3 means very less than uh, means uh, less than uh, sun's mass as well as eight times uh, larger than the small uh, sun's mass it happens in the late phase of stellar evolution so when it happens means how the uh, red giants got evolved so uh, when the core means when uh, means as as i have already told the nuclear fusion started in the core so when the fuel fuel means here oh, what is fuel fuel here is hydrogen and it is giving rise to helium so hydrogen is here is the fuel so when the fuel is got over in that core part so the core part will will be dead and the upper shell will consist of small amount small, small amount of hydrogen that only radiate some uh, that will radiate some energy means light Uh, but that is not that much light like white or blue that is red light so it is red giant it is called red giant and uh, red giant is uh, means after that after the when the um, core is uh, the fuel in the core is got got over the um, star tends to um, expand and the red giants are very huge masses after uh, Uh, when it uh, comes to red giant phase uh, i have already told these things means uh, blue means when uh, surface temperature are high it is 40000 kelvin uh, so it is uh, it is the property of blue blue giants and uh, this when surface temperature is low that is 2 2000 kelvin it is the property of uh, red dwarf 
uh, and uh, here I uh, here I have men uh, it is mentioned that blue giants and uh, red dwarfs and very small uh, stars are brown dwarfs. <coughs> so the most massive stars that is large means uh, sixty times of sun's mass. Most massive stars spend only sixty thirty six means uh, as you can see uh, it is uh, very less means this much time means thirty six uh, that. 360,000 years in the main sequence so uh, and the um, sun uh, having solar mass it ten, it uh, stays about 10 billion years but very small uh, small stars like uh, red dwarfs uh, tens means uh, it uh, uh, stays in uh, main sequence very very um, large time so why this happens because in massive stars what happen uh, massive stars have very huge amount of fuel but uh, the means uh, uh, the reaction also very means fast that's why the um, fuel gets uh, finished uh, before the other uh, like other uh, in comparison to other stars in uh, massive stars like in blue giants the fuel uh, finishes very fast so what uh, here i have told here uh, and after that uh, the masses of star in main sequence range widely from uh, 0. Point, i have already uh, mentioned these things 0. Point to 60 solar masses here uh, you can see uh, the red dwarf have 0. Point, means it can goes up to 0. Point 0.6 solar mass means it can be uh, less than 0. Point 0.2 times of solar uh, mass of the sun and the blue giants uh, is uh, up to 60 times of blue means uh, so mass of the sun so i have already mentioned these things and uh, uh, here another um, uh, another indian scientist uh, comes into um, play uh, who is known as chandra sekhar Chand he gave one limit chandra sekhar limit <coughs> So what is Chandra Sekhar limit? In Chandra Sekhar limit, what he uh, says, he says that uh, means if a star having mass of 1.44 mass of 1.44 of solar mass, that is 1.44 mass of the sun, uh, the star is not a such a big star. It is big bigger than obviously it is bigger than sun, but it is it but it is not such a big big star. So. What, uh, what, uh, so it becomes a planetary nebula and it, it becomes a white star like sun and um, when the fuel over it uh, becomes a black dwarf. So if, uh, but if uh, the size is bigger than 1.44, uh, it uh, becomes, uh, it goes to supernova explosion. Uh, so it goes to supernova explosion i have already supernova explosion takes place and um, uh, we can classify also this uh, means a bigger stars to uh, two more categories if the size is in between 1.44 to 3 solar mass it becomes a neutron star what is neutron star in neutron star uh, what happens in neutron stars the uh, means uh, uh, proton and uh, electrons combines to form neutrons and uh, it uh, for example examples are pulsars and magnetars pulsars are pulsating stars means the, uh, the uh, both have magnetic fields around them but uh, in case of pulsar it rotates very fast so that the lights uh, we can observe the light as pulse in a pulsating manner it, it will be in up and down manner but in magnetars, uh, magnetars it slow slowly rotates. So we cannot uh, we cannot uh, see that pulsating manner in that uh, magnetars. So this is the difference. And uh, another uh, classification is when the uh, when it is more than three times, it directly goes to black hole. Means no means uh, because because uh, because of this huge mass, it cannot form any stars or any other matter. It directly goes to black hole. What is black hole? Black hole. Uh, the definition is highly in highly infinite decimally dense point. So black hole means 
all all matter con means contact in that black hole means uh, black hole is the only singularity in that uh, in uh, in in the core so black uh, what is black black hole is means highly infinite infinitely dense point so uh, just imagine that dense point highly infinitely uh, dense, uh, dense point uh, i cannot tell in uh, much more about black holes this is pulsar means uh, light emitting pulsar in uh, light the pulsar emits light in a pulsating manner means how the lights are uh, moving like this then i will uh, tell about the types of galaxies what are the types of galaxies uh types of galaxies uh, uh, you can uh, know there are two types of galaxies one is normal galaxy normal galaxy means uh, we are uh, suppose we are uh, staying in a normal galaxy normal galaxy are three types elliptical spiral and irregular uh, spiral as you, as you know our milky way galaxy also a, a spiral galaxy and uh, elliptical galaxy example is like uh, is, uh, this is the example of milk uh, elliptical galaxy and the milky way also one uh, spiral galaxy irregular, uh, irregular galaxy example is N, uh, ngc 1569 these are uh, types of galaxies and uh, this these are types of normal galaxy but another type of galaxy is there that is peculiar galaxy peculiar galaxy are two types interacting galaxy and active galaxy what is interactive galaxy interacting galaxy when two galaxies are interacting with each other suppose two galaxies are combining means their uh, masses are combining and uh, they they tends to collide with each other they, these are known as interacting galaxies and active galaxies active galaxies are galaxies which are much more active means Uh, in distant space we can uh, uh, find the um, uh, it emits such a high energy we can find uh, the galaxies from a very large distance and uh, means uh, in uh, what is the form of high energy high energy it it uh, radiates the high energy in the form of gamma radiation so if uh, if i will uh, give one example examples of uh, active galaxies then these are blazers and quasars blazers blazers and quasars these things just to remember mean because suppose uh, in question they will ask that quasars are the uh, term quasars are uh, a type of um, suppose option will be a galaxy a active galaxy a passive galaxy a protostar or a um, or a um, suppose a meteorite suppose uh, so here uh, you have to uh, take the active galaxy uh, bla- quasars are active galaxy so uh, this is the end of the video uh, thank you